guys, so we just made it to Denver, and this is the first time that I've actually vlogged today because we got up at like 5.30 and I wasn't awake and then I was driving and I was trying to concentrate on driving because it was dark. And then we were at the airport and there were lots of people, and there's lots of people here, but less. Anyway, so we're gonna get some snapping hot dogs from the snapping hot dog place and then wait we're here for like an hour for our layover and then we'll be headed to Vegas so we have made it to the hotel and I thought I would do a hotel tour for you guys it's noisy but this is our bomb bathroom look at this tub you guys I might never leave this tub, like honestly. And I know that I can give Kara's hair a good washing. We have, ooh, a nice mirror, and I have never looked more like a lesbian in my life. A full-sized closet. Oh, it came with a gorgeous girl too. You guys, how did I get so lucky? Okay, um, king size bed, a couple nightstands, this it's an iHome. I mean, it doesn't work for my phone, but cute little charging port, a TV bigger than any of the ones we have at home, a legitimate desk, and a cute little reading chair with a magazine. I love this guy. Anyway, but look at the cute girl it came with, man. Look at her. She's so gorgeous. Dem legs, though. All right, you guys, so this is the end of our first day on this trip. Kara has claimed a little cocoon in the bed, and we're gonna hit the hay because I know it's only like two hours, but technically we're experiencing jet lag. <laughs> um, we are two hours ahead of where we are at home so right now two hours behind yes at home we're two hours ahead that's what I meant um so here it's like 10 o'clock and at home it's like midnight so we're gonna go to bed and start things off again in the morning hi guys so I'm here with my little teeny tiny box I'm about to set up my books and I'm surrounded by people with these big contraptions and their friends and things I'm feeling very out of place like look at these giant boxes that this girl's got over here and I have this teeny tiny little cardboard thing I'm feeling very out of place like super out of place <laughs> should I even be in here I don't even know I'm having a moment a very weird, weird moment. And I'm a little terrified right now, to be honest. Hi, you guys. So we are back in the hotel room relaxing after quite... Actually, it was pretty fun. Pretty fun time. It was slightly stressful, though, because there were so many people. We were walking this strip, and we were kind of just, like, going places. Um, we're staying at the Tropicana, so... There are hotels like really close to a lot of things. Right across the street is like the Las Vegas, New York, and there's the Hershey World and the Eminem World, and we went into the Coca Cola store, and we started to go into Ross down here, but we changed our minds real fast because there were so many people in there. One thing that I'm noticing though is that a lot of people that are here have like no manners and no like respect for people with disabilities I guess because people were constantly like getting in front of us and just not moving and like they wouldn't say excuse me and they acted like us walking through was an inconvenience but there were just so many people. <sighs> I think we're probably gonna stick to the hotel for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> and even here, there's gonna be a lot of people, so. 
So I definitely have not vlogged like all day long. Um, today was the first day of Clexicon and I had my panel today. I, and I was going to totally like video part of that, but I didn't. Um, and I started my booth selling today and I sold like a third of the books that I brought. I only brought like 30 of them um, because I didn't know how well they would sell. So I sold like a third of them already and Kara's trying to talk me into walking onto the strip all by myself to get her a drink. I'm gonna tell him you said that. No! <laughs> it's okay. Don't, my hair is so. Ah. I love you. You're so pretty. Look how I'm pretty you flawless. are. You are looking flawless. All day early. All my makeup come off. All day early. No, actually, your makeup still looks pretty good. Besides, like, your under eyes, your eye, your, that eye makeup underneath is smeared a little bit. Tired much? It's been a long day for you, you know, sitting and chilling. <laughs> well, can you repeat that for me? Go sleep in the reading chair all by your lonesome. <laughs> anyway, so um, yesterday was our sightseeing day and today we are, oh well now I'm gonna go get food because today's over. I'm gonna see if I can vlog more. It's not even that far. It's freaking across the street. She really wants me to get this drink. <laughs> Literally. Oh. You. All you have to do is take an elevator up one thing, and then walk right through the doors across the street. It's even on the same level. Are you done being irate? You're so damn cute. <laughs> so you really want me to go and get that drink? You literally have to walk across the street. If I'm getting that drink for you, I'm getting Starbucks for me. I get Starbucks. This whole trip is for you. Everything's about you. I love it when you get shitty chatty on vlogs. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. What do you want to eat though? I already told you. You want a hot dog? Yes. Okay. I guess I'm going on the strip by myself, guys. Okay, so I'm not normally into like the whole big city thing, but Vegas at night is absolutely beautiful. Like the lights and like all of the colors, it's absolutely gorgeous here. And there's really not as many people out at night. I think everybody's like in the casinos or like already having dinner right now. And so like, it's not as packed as it was when me and Kara were like out sightseeing during the day. So I'm kind of enjoying this actually. And it feels so good right now. Like it's so warm. Back home we have a freeze warning, so <laughs> it's really nice to not to have that. I also have to say like this is our hotel. Our hotel has its own like street. It's so big. Like this far building that's 22 stories and that's where we are staying and this is like a whole other section of the hotel that's like even more stories so it's ridiculously huge and also look lexicon logo yo check that out okay you guys so kara asked me to get her a plain hot dog <laughs> and they sent us a dildo in a bun <laughs> This is the biggest hot dog I've ever seen in my entire life. It's literally a dildo in a bun. <laughs> you have to eat the whole thing. I can barely eat a foot long Cody from Sonic. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> 
This is the biggest. Ridic. <laughs> this was a whole new emphasis to the whole weeder joke. So I'm headed down to my table for day two and I just printed off stuff because yesterday I had like no pricing labels on anything. Um, and there's already like a huge, huge line of people waiting to get in. You can hear their voices by now, I bet. Okay, so me and Kara just had lunch and I'm headed back to my table. Still Saturday and um, I actually had a really good day, just day today. Like a couple people who went to the panel yesterday came by and talked to me and they were like interested in a couple different things and then I got to meet somebody who's aspiring to write and I got to talk a little bit about my process which was great um, and the sweetest lady brought me coffee because she heard me saying that I didn't get a chance to go and get any so that was amazing if she ever watches this thank you so much to Nikki um, yeah so I'm headed back in there it's getting loud so yeah so my voice is almost gone because I was coughing all night because we're in the freaking desert and I'm used to like 70% humidity in Missouri and Kansas and it's so dry here because it's the freaking desert. Um, so my throat is so dry and I've been drinking so much water because it's so dry and I can barely talk now. And it's the last day though, it's the last day though and I just, I'm so sad because I just downloaded, I'm gonna try not to get her in my shop. I just, I just moved again. I just downloaded our boarding passes for our flight back. And that made me so sad. We fly out first thing in the morning. And anyway, so I'm already in, in the room. I didn't get to vlog on the way down here because there were so many people waiting in line already, which is insane. But maybe I'll sell my books. I don't have very many left. <laughs> Okay, guys, so it is our last night in Vegas, and we went out with, well, not really out, we just went to the hotel, one of the hotel bars, with, like, four ladies that I had met at, um, at the con, and they had, they were writers, and they had, like, a table. Am I slurring a little bit? Okay, um, anyway, I drank with them, and Kara did not, because that's illegal. And, um, anyway, so, I drank with them, and I'm going to sleep well tonight for, like, six hours, because we have to be on our plane, where we board at 8, 11 in the morning, which means... We have to leave the hotel really early. Oh, before we go to sleep, I have to call the taxi company. But we are already packed up over here. Just like, gotta pack up her boots and um, her chair charger, and that's it. Like, everything's already packed up. So, yeah, we're gonna go to bed. Klaxicon Adventure is almost over. Um, but it's been fun. I had a lot of fun. I'll probably do a reflection video later. We'll see. Still got a whole day of traveling, so there's that. Okay, say the thing about the monkey. Don't touch my monkey, bitch. I don't know what I said after that. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> How tired are you on a scale of 1 to 10? So oh, it is approximately 6 o'clock. It's 6 a.m. I am not regretting the drinking because the rum made me sleepy. What I'm regretting is the time at which I drank the rum. I'm glad that the rum is gone. I'm glad the rum is gone. I just regret the time at which I made the rum gone. Um, but we are, I packed up the last minute items. Our bags are really stuffed. And the cute souvenir monkey that we got does not fit in them, so. <clears throat> it's your personal monkey, it's your carry-on, right? There it goes, that's, that's what she said. 
Don't touch my monkey bitch. That's what she said. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so we just landed in Denver. Um, our layover is kind of short, so I'm just gonna try and grab us some food really fast. Um, I didn't vlog this morning because I was so tired <laughs> and it was so hard to wake up this morning. So um, our first flight was pretty good, really, really rough, rough landing. Um, but I'm going to reflect on, I think, I think I'm going to do like a reflection of the whole weekend in a separate video because I feel like this one's super long as it is. Um, my voice is so gone. So I'll probably vlog again when we get home, but I'm gonna run and grab us some food. We've got like 30 minutes, I think, until we start boarding for Kansas City. All right, you guys, we're back home. I just like started full on vlogging just now and I realized that the camera wasn't even rolling. Um, my voice is almost gone and I keep squeaking. The cats are really glad that we are home. And uh, speaking of, Hello, Harley. Thanks, I really wanted your butt in my face. For sure, that is what I've been longing for today. Um, I get to go pick up crypto tomorrow, but since we are home, I'm going to end this vlog of Klexicon here because we're home and the trip is over and it was a long, long drive home. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I put away almost all of our stuff. I've just got a couple things, but um, yeah. This has been an amazing, incredible trip. I think I mentioned earlier in part of this that I was probably going to do a reflection video on the whole trip, and I think that I'm still going to do that. Um, and then like talk about my plans for future things so yeah if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up because apparently YouTube has, ha, apparently YouTube has this new algorithm where if you don't like my videos I don't show up in your like feed so definitely like like my videos if you enjoy them and you want to see them in my feed and turn on your notifications for when I upload videos otherwise you won't ever know when I've uploaded videos so yeah bye guys thank you for coming to Vegas with us